Okay, you want to right click on snaps up here. You want to turn on your grid points. Then sit, middle click in the middle and drag out a bit. Now left click your plane. Hit S to turn your snaps on. Drag this out. Right click the segments, then right click in the viewport. Hit G to turn off your grid. Go to sphere. Hit auto grid and also hit base to pivot. You probably only need one of them. Drag out a sphere. A sphere this size should do. Hit Z when you have it selected. Now select the plane and use your scale tool with the R key and drag it up so it goes outside of the camera. And we can change that color to gray if you want. So you just do that on the top right. Okay. Let's bring these segments up to 150. Okay. Now let's hit Shift Q to render this. Or yep. So that's what we got now. Now go to your render set it render, render setup up here, and you want to go to assign render, which is probably on the bottom under your common tab. But I drag mine up top. Uh, make sure your scan lines equipped. That's what we're going to use now. So, um, also for the render size, don't even worry about that. I'm leaving mine at 640 by 480, and that's pretty much all you need to know as far as that's concerned. The big thing is the uh, hit S if you want to turn your snaps off. Is the material editor, and you're gonna want to go in here and grab this first slot, and this is gonna be our scan line. So we'll call it scan floor. This one we'll call MR floor. This one we'll call MR material. This one we'll call, oops, select in the little box, scan material. Okay, so let's select this box and we're going to do scan, scan line first. So I'll go to standard here and select it. And then you want to type in matte shadow. So select it and go ahead and, and uh, assign it to the plane and to do that you just you just uh, grab it up here and just drag it onto it so now we have that going so go ahead and hit the render teapot up here and now we have black there so let's go ahead and uh, go over to your create panel go to lights drag down here to standard drop in a skylight click it in here Go ahead and hit render now. So the skylight just completely brightens everything up. So what you want to do is hit uh, cast shadows on there, hit render again, and it's taking a long time so you hit cancel, you turn these cast shadows down to 5. Now you can hit uh, shift Q again to render, or just click render. Okay, so now you can see it's trying to make some shadows there. So go ahead and hit your 8 key for uh, environment and effects. Click and drag this white up to the black. Just do a copy. I'll click render again. And now we have some shadows going on. Now for the sphere to give it like a decent looking material, you pretty much just go in here, uh, find a color you like, and you can drag up the glossiness and the specular here, and hit render again. And you should probably assign it to the thing. So go ahead and click and drag it to it, hit render. And you can't really tell anything's going on, so you want to go to Create. Then you want to grab an Omni Light, grab it, drag it up, and hit Render again. Okay, now you can kind of see what's going on there. And just keep your image size small so it renders fast. Okay, so you can also you select your skylight back here, and it's really hard to select it sometimes, so you just hit F3 and click and drag it. Um, just turn your shadows up, and that'll uh, instantly, pretty much, not instantly, but you got to render it out, make it look better for you. So, I mean, if you have, if you leave that at 20, that's, if you're rendering something really cool, you want to leave it there. So that's pretty much that. Um, one other thing you can do is grab your OmniLight and turn your shadows on. Uh, take your color, put just a teeny bit of yellow in there, hit OK. Um, maybe turn your multiplier down. Go ahead and hit render again, and now your Omni Light's going to be casting shadows. But let's actually grab this uh, skylight, turn it back down so it renders fast, and hit render. And now you can see it's doing that. So clearly, you would want to grab this and drag it way up off the screen. Hit render, 
And I did that on the bottom using that spinner. So there, now the light's on top. So that's that's how you kind of control your shadow. So I'll drag it way down. And let me find this light. There it is. And I'm going to select my sphere and hit Z again. And now I'm zoomed in and I got my light there. And render if you want. So why I can't keep working while it's rendering is beyond me. So let's now go back to our render setup. And let's select assign renderer and assign the mesoloid renderer. All right, close that out. And let's go here. And you want to change it for, we're not doing a standard material, so you want to do something else, not this stuff. So click on standard. Once again, type in matte shadow reflection. Click it, double click it, and click and drag it to the plane. Okay, now let's hit render. All right, clearly that's not doing anything. So let's try changing the camera map to background. Click OK, click render. There we go, now that's going. I'm actually gonna turn the shadows off on my Omni light so it doesn't look completely blown out. There, so now we got that going for us. Um, so now to get a reflection going on this, you wanna receive reflections. So the floor is gonna receive the reflections. Now go ahead and hit render again. It's completely blown out. So let's right click to put both these to zero. Okay, now we're going. Now let's turn now let's turn up the max distance. Just a little bit. Just drag up on it just a bit. Do it just a bit more. Maybe put that number up eight or so. See now we're starting to get something. Now let's bring this up to like five, four. 4.8, whatever. Yep. Okay, so now let's take this in half. Let's go to 2.5. Two and there's half. So now we're getting, like, you know, a cool-looking little reflection guy there. Okay. Now let's grab a material for this. So we want a, we want a different material, so I'll go to standard. And just grab metallic paint. Um, let's just throw that on the sphere. So just click and drag it to the sphere. Hit render. There you go. And then that, that light... Clearly, it's it's really strong right now, so you turn the shadows on and just turn it way down, so it's not so intense, and it's still still giving us a really bright shadow. So just drag it. Oh, you don't want to do negative. Okay, so now what I can do is just drag this up off the screen again. I just I didn't hold Alt. I grabbed that spinner on the bottom. Now we just kind of have a shadow guy going on there. It looks kind of crappy, but it's whatever. Um, try deleting your skylight. You just gotta kind of play with these lights and see see what you can come up with. So, um, that's pretty much it. I want it to be a quick video. Uh, so there it is without the skylight. Uh, we still got the we don't have the omni light selected. So you can hit H and grab your omni light. Uh, right click it. Yep, there now I have it selected. And use your move tool with W and then just drag it down. Let's hit render again. Okay, so there's a bunch of other things you can do. Uh, you can just drag it down here, and then you can hit shift, shift and drag it. Hit OK, closing material editor. Grab both lights, drag them down here. Um, let's just drag a couple over here, and yeah, let's drag a couple more up. Hit OK, let's hit render to see what you get. Whatever, I'm just screwing around, so. Yeah, and you can always turn all those down. You know, that's exactly what I told it to render, so it's going to render it. Um, so there's my little quick rendering tutorial. Have a good one.